Hello guys and welcome to the Hype Production. In this video tutorial, we are going to create another part of tire modeling in 3D Studio Max. Before that, I'm going to tell you that I have already uploaded part 1, so you can get the link in the description. So just let's get a start. First of all, I have a 3D Studio Max and I'm going to take tube and uh, I'll draw a tube from the front profile or front viewport here. And uh, we need to add some more details in it. So I'm going to uh, add some height and as well, I will add some sides because they are not in proper shapes. We have to increase the sides for 60. So now it's looking like a smooth. I'm going to convert them into editable poly. And after that, I'm going to uh, select uh, all of them ring and make them delete with polygons. I only need half tile. So I'm going to select each, make them ring, hold control and make them connect. After having some connection, we're going to take some surface spherical or curved shape as a tire. I think that's good. Now, we need to click, double click on the edges of them and then make them chamfer. So chamfer will create some smooth surface on the edge. Okay, so make ring. Once again, take a connect and have some two edges. So now as a manually, I'm going to select this edge and we'll rotate like this. And again, I'm going to take this edge, rotate inverse like this. So we have uh, both direction and the center direction is remain the same. <coughs> I'm going to take edge tool and uh, I will select the edge, make them ring. Hold control and select polygons. Hold control and select polygons. So it will become polygonal. Now make them insert and then extrude. So we have this beautiful texture. Let's have symmetry modifier. So when you will do the symmetry modifier, it will easily adjust it here. But it's totally thick in size so we just need to yes squeeze them now take the cylinder and draw because this time we are going to create a rim you cannot get rim in the part one so we are going to create ring same things i'm gonna do we have to break 60 sides and zero height segments convert them into poly select polygon and delete the front profile take the border and hold shift key and scale down again hold shift key and scale down again hold shift key and drag your mouse and scale it down once again do the same thing once again scale down by holding shift key so it will going to make a duplicate of your edges profiles so we have this beautiful uh, rim side and as well i'm going to select this edge and scale up according to the size like this okay so moving on next step i'm going to select uh, and make them mesh smooth from the modifier list but one thing i'm gonna show you that if you will apply mesh smooth so it will ruin your all the topology so what we'll have to do we have to control our details detail holding normally we call this detail holding so we are going to hold the detail i'm going to take edge tool ring them and connect two edges like this let's see mesh smooth now you can see these details are clear. Now we have to do this from the same front side. Again, take edge tool, make them ring and connect two edges. 
the same thing to edges ring make them connect to edges so <clears throat> I'm going to select these all the thing as well ring them every edges has the two edges so now if I'm going to make them mesh smooth once again so our details are actually controlled it looks proper and it looks good one more thing I'm gonna add uh, is uh, to connect two edges like here two edges put them okay and uh, select polygons select the top edge I think I'm mistaken no 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 yes this part and then we just need to see this also wrong so we have to select this part okay manually I am selecting the polygons and delete them so it's kind of a gap normally we used to see in the rim of here uh, of the truck tires frames one more thing I'm going to just take a cylinder and uh, I will draw a cylinder from the front profile like this and we just need to add to here throughout the position to hold shift key and take duplicate okay decrease the sides I'm going to take six sides and increase the radius as showing the it is kind of a nut bolt which is used to fix okay this time I'm going to take sphere and I'll draw a sphere here like this okay so I'm going to take uh, adjust increase more radius make them group I'm going to give the name bolt okay so hold shift key and take a duplicate by hold drag mouse select both of them hold shift key rotate them once again and again so we have already created this beautiful model so I'm gonna unhide this so my tire is completed I'm going to select uh, black color near to the black color for showing the tire and this time I'm going to take white color for the rim so guys I hope you like this tutorial and if you like the tutorial this part too so hit like press the bell icon subscribe my channel thank you so much